from education leading to employment, then employment leading into uh, investment, and then investment leading into innovation. And the innovation creates a economic uh, activity around it, and Sri Lanka becomes a destination for uh, a tech-driven uh, business. So I have uh, other board of directors along uh, with me. They are co-founders in this initiative. And uh, uh, last uh, uh, 10 years, we have seen the internet uh, has become a source of uh, uh, connection to the global market. Uh, from the traditional market, the internet market is quite fast. And uh, it is able to bring businesses which are not possible in the earlier scenario, being uh, the public started participating and it become a strong network by itself. So our model is uh, to connect the people as an ecosystem and to technology as an ecosystem. How do we bring people and technology together and where an economic model can be evolved? So we chose Sri Lanka after uh, our groundwork from February first week. Uh, so we did uh, one bottom-up approach, uh, visiting various universities covering uh, North, East, as well as uh, in Colombo. And uh, we picked up uh, the Vice Chancellors, uh, Chancellors, uh, Deans, and also a couple of Gen Z population students in terms of how much is the knowledge on the newer economic uh, business model how much are they prepared as an education? And uh, we collected this groundwork covering more than seven universities. Our aim is to cover more than 5,000 uh, Sri Lankan uh, Gen Z population on the newer technology. So that's the first, first university where we have signed and proceeding is with Eastern uh, University. That's going to start next week. We are waiting for this inauguration to officially promote this. And uh, the second objective is uh, top down. Uh, so once we have collected the market uh, research and uh, detail about how Sri Lanka is uh, ready for this uh, you know, Web3 